Right, sorry. Well, we've got, we've got the Telegraph again with a sign of changing times as a play is being cancelled for being anti-turf instead of anti-trans, oh, Paul. Fascinating, this. It is from our perspective, that's for sure. Edinburgh Fringe venue threatens to pull play about, about J.K. Rowling's trans row. Uh, so Turf, as the show is called, examines the Harry Potter author's falling out with the stars of the film franchise following her public comments on gender. However, the play, described as the most provocative to be staged at the Fringe for years, is now at the centre of a deplatforming row over claims the venue has axed the shows. Uh, this is what the fringe should be about. We're all part of the arts, right? I only joined the arts about 10 years ago, and it's the most welcoming place as long as you share the same view as everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah. else. Art should, you know, it should a attack the elites. It should open up dialogue about stuff. And that's exactly what this did. J.K. Rowling was in a position as an elite, was in a position of power, and decided to throw all that to the wind to fight for what she believed to be female rights. Now, we yeah. all agree with her. We absolutely all agree with her. No venue at a fringe festival, I believe, should have the right to look at any show and say, I disagree with it, it shouldn't be on here. Yeah. Don't be part of the fringe. But seeing that, I've, been, I've, I've had a tour yeah. cancelled because because, uh, because apparently I was transphobic or anything, just because I was. And <laughs> now it's interesting to see that people on the other side of the debate, the people who are probably phoning up to get me cancelled, are now themselves getting cancelled with their... And it shows, Josh, the, the sort of echo change, chamber that the arts are, that they could... Because the original title for the show was TERF, and then C, the, yeah. the worst word, yeah, like yeah. the CU next yeah, Tuesday yeah. word. And uh, so it, it's interesting. They, they were going to... Even, even thinking of putting on this show, that it seems so Oh, poisonous. so hateful for someone who's received... Data Death threats, rape threats. Mm. Um, and then the tagline here, yeah. She had everything until it all went to hell in a broom basket. Well, you know what? She still got everything. Yeah. Except now she's got the admiration of hundreds of thousands of people and women for standing up for women's rights and children's rights. And history is the one who's going to be kind to her. I personally don't think they should... Uh, pull this show. I think no. it should go ahead and I think people should see it and if it is hateful, it should thus be exposed. You're just going to have Josh in the front row on his own like, well, No, I just think <laughs> or, you know, or, or reviewing <laughs> it and, and assessing somewhere. it. You know, there is an interesting story there. Yeah. The story is interesting. How she was arguably betrayed by these actors of, yeah. who she has made their careers. Yeah. So there is a really fascinating story. Obviously, it's not a sympathetic, or this interpretation of that story is not sympathetic. But you know what? Let's, it's art. Let's see what it's got. We Let's should see what see it's it. about. Good plan.